Development and social change happens largely through changing behaviour of people and of the institutions and organisations that they make up. And the main thing that makes people change their behaviour is learning about something entirely new or about how to apply something they already knew to a new challenge or problem. So here we're talking about development research or operational development programmes in which a key pathway to change is through programme actors changing their behaviour through learning processes, which we design and facilitate. In a development research programme, that might mean training researchers to use new research methods. In a governance aid programme, it may mean helping government bureaucrats to understand the consequences for citizens of poor service delivery and therefore mobilising them to improve it. Many kinds of funder of development work and research have asked us to undertake this kind of learning process within the programmes that they fund. Organisations like UNICEF, um, bilateral official aid donors such as the UK's Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office or Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, uh, international non-governmental organisations or not-for-profits such as Oxfam or WaterAid, also research fund funders such as the um, International Development Research Centre IDRC in Canada. In terms of who the learners are on these engagements, it varies hugely. It ranges from staff members of these kinds of organisations I just mentioned, through government actors and private sector actors at global, national, local levels, down to people in grassroots communities in countries of the global south but also of the global north. The impacts, broadly speaking, are changes in perspective and behaviour on the part of actors who are involved in development and change processes, meaning that they can engage in new ways in making change happen. In Making All Voices Count, a large-scale tech for governance programme in which I led the learning component, through our work, tech developers gained understanding of how governance processes work, the complexity they entail, which made them approach the task of designing technologies and apps for more accountable governance in a much more nuanced, contextually informed, realistic way. And governance professionals gained understanding of the affordances of technologies for the purposes of better governance, as well as becoming aware of the risks and dangers technologies can pose to citizens in the context of anti-democratic states. <laughs>